hey friends, Tux here. I get a lot of questions about transferring music from any DAP to a computer and vice versa. Okay, so let's say you have a brand new DAP, okay, and you want to back up your music collection or probably more importantly and more commonly is you want to add music to it. You bought this and you're like, you want to use this device, but you're not quite sure how to get music onto the device, okay? I wanna go ahead and show that to you in this video, okay? This will work for all DAPs, and does that matter if it's a Sony NWA306, which is what I have here, or if it's some other more expensive DAP, or a less expensive DAP, the process is still the same, okay? So anyway, so just pretend this is your DAP, it can really be any DAP, okay? So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and you wanna connect with USB-C or whatever USB cord your DAP uses, you wanna plug that bad boy in, okay? Just like that. Very simple. And then from there, you want to take your USB and you want to plug it into your computer. For purposes of this video, I'm using this Microsoft Surface, which actually I bought this and I'd recommend this. Use one of these as a music collection backup. Have all your music on here. You can keep backing it up. It's very simple. So I'm just going to plug this in here. And then what's going to happen is I plug this USB, okay, A into the Surface. It's going to see this and it's going to say, oh, you have a hard drive hooked up. Essentially, in the eyes of the computer, any DAP, okay, or iPod or whatever, it sees this as a hard drive. So that is very simple. Okay, so now we have the DAP plugged in through USB, okay? And now over here, you can see under this PC, it's saying Walkman. It sees this as a hard drive. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. We'll just do file down there so you can see. And then there's a few options here, internal storage or SD card, because there is SD card on this tab. We'll just do internal storage for now. And now the Sony unit does have different file folders. Usually music is the one you want right here, music. Okay, we're going to go ahead and click on that. Or double click rather, I guess I should say. And then here is some music. So just a couple random things thrown in there. I usually keep most things actually on the SD card, but I just wanted to show you that. And then if you want to transfer some music, all you have to do is kind of have this over here. And then on this particular one here, I do have some music on actually on this device. So you can see there's a whole bunch of stuff. We'll grab, let's say we grab Gorillas here. Okay, Cracker Island. We're gonna take that, we're just gonna drag it. We're gonna drop it over here. Super simple. It's transferring the music, you can see right here. It's transferring Cracker Island over. And then now Cracker Island will be on the DAP's internal storage, okay? Um, some people have problems with transferring music just make sure that if it is some some daps have a folder that says music some fo uh, daps do not have that some just have a big hard drive space and you can just drag and drop it right in so very simple okay the other method of doing this okay is by using an adapter like this right here okay and then with this adapter you can just take the small micro sd card okay and you can just take this little card right there okay take it out of the dap stick it in the adapter stick the adapter in the adapter the adapter's adapter Okay, and then this here, you would plug in, and then from here, you go ahead and transfer music the same way. Just unplug this. We're going to plug this in here now. There we go. And now, once again, now it is seeing this down here. You can see the message here. It sees that there is a device plugged in, um, and you can just transfer music the same exact way we did before by taking, opening up the folder, and then dragging, dropping music over. So no matter if you're adding music via an adapter, adapter like this here, or if you're actually just plugging in the DAP player into the computer, it's the same process where you're just basically plugging it in. It sees this is a hard drive. It sees this is a hard drive. It kind of doesn't matter where it's coming from. It just knows that there's another external storage device plugged into the computer and you can transfer that music, okay? Personally, for me, I like using little flashcards and I'll plug them in, you know, to the DAP and that way you can take them from DAP to DAP to DAP. But again, keep in mind that some DAPs have their own special file folder system like Sony where you have to have a music folder, okay? And so if I take this from this DAP into another one that does not need a music folder, there could be problems, maybe has a harder time seeing it or something, you know, so that's something to think about. Um, some people have asked about, well, why not have the biggest, you know, you know, terabyte card 
collection plugged in there or whatever, like the biggest memory, external memory card possible plugged in? And the answer is you want to find something which is appropriate for the size of music collection you have. If you do have a bigger card plugged into your thing, A, it might be bigger than your DAP allows, you know, or B, even if it does take it, that's a bigger search area. Think about it kind of like throwing in like a, a penny into, you know, a, a, a goldfish bowl, you know, pretty easy to see that penny as you drop it in a goldfish bowl. Now, if you take a penny and throw it into the ocean, you're never going to find it. You know, it takes longer to find it. So uh, it's the thing where you want it. Is it easier to find a penny in a goldfish bowl or is it easier to pay, find a penny in like a swimming pool, like a backyard pool? Probably the goldfish bowl, you know, I guess you get the idea. And of course, you throw in the ocean, you're never going to find it. So too much space can be your enemy as well, is what I'm trying to say. OK, all right. I hope that answers a little bit of a question on this. I know I do have a couple other videos where I go even more into detail with file transfers and showing the transfers. But this question just keeps coming up. So I wanted to make a video just to address it again, because people keep having problems trying to figure out how to get music, you know, from their computer you know, onto their DAP, or in some cases they ask about, well, I have a collection of music on my DAP and I want to switch it to a different DAP, but it's on the internal memory, so I can't take out the SIM card. What do I do, Tox? Okay, and what you do then, again, is you take it, plug this in, computer sees this as a hard drive, you just transfer all that music onto here, and then you have it on here, and then from here, your computer, whatever the computer might be, a laptop, a desktop, a, a tablet, or, you know, in my case, a Surface, you can actually transfer that music anywhere else you want it. So this is like my music bank, okay? I keep everything in here, and that's where I keep my music. And then I transfer it from here onto flash memory cards or onto dApps, okay? All right, friends, hope that helps. <laughs> I'll have links for the products below. Check it out. Available on Amazon. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to reach out to me. Text toys at gmail.com. You guys know I'm here to help, okay? I have more reviews coming. And if you guys have anything you want product reviewed, just let me know, okay? Text toys at gmail.com or put a comment down below. We'll talk to you soon, friends. Bye bye.